this lecture we'll talk about what makes a good milestone and how you know what a milestone is and what it is all about. First of all, a milestone is an event, something that can be observed objectively by you or your team or by outsiders, investors, partners, customers, suppliers that show that you have indeed clarified or made your business become more successful. It should be something that's well defined and clear. It should be something that's measurable. And we'll talk about some of those. And it should be discreet. In other words, one knows when it's happened. What, when something has occurred, you know that it's done. Like a grand opening, a successful grand opening with a, with a thousand people coming to your particular store, something like that, which you can count the people, you know the date, you see that it happened, and you can, it's a discreet event, and you can say that it occurred. Or, or reaching a certain number of customers, or a certain number of subscribers, those sorts of things. That's part one. It should be something that you know it happened. You know if you did it, and you know if you failed. It's essentially a hypothesis about how your business will work. It can be either verified or supported, or it can be um, shown not to be the case. So you know that your business is moving in track. Well, since you're checking with events that things are going along a certain track, you want to make sure that you're on the right tracks, all of them. So you look at things that eliminate certain risk from your business. If you're developing an application, you have an idea for an application that perhaps finds parking spaces. Um, if you're looking for that, you don't know whether you can develop that. You don't know if it'll work. So when you complete a working prototype, you have now something that works using the technologies that are available. You can show it and demonstrate it. You've eliminated some technology risk. So that's one area. But there's also market risk. Will customers buy it? Do they care? Will they pay for it? Will they pay the price you think they'll pay for it? Those are market risks. So you want a milestone that shows that people care and will buy it and they will pay for it. Then you want a milestone that talks about what your operations can do. Can you actually deliver this product or service? Can you do it at a cost that allows you to make a profit? So you have a technology that you develop, for, for example, and you show that you can do that. You show that people will buy it, but you also have to show that you can operate behind the scenes in a way that's cost-effective enough that you can make a profit doing this. So that's another set of milestones. Then there's legal milestones. You want to make sure that you're following the rules, that you're addressing the law, that you're following the right regulations, that you formed a corporation or whatever it is. To the extent there is legal risk, maybe liability, that sort of thing, maybe intellectual property rights, you may want to achieve a patent or a trademark or something like that. So there's some legal risks associated with that. Financial risk is also something that you have to make sure you, you tend while you're developing a business. So you have something like, I need $100,000 to pay my initial lease and to pay my people and to get my technology up and running and to do some my initial marketing for my launch. Well, once you've secured that $100,000 from banks or from investors or from family members or whatever so that you have the financial resources you need, that supports financial risk. So like initial funding, an initial investor is a good example of a financial milestone. And of course, you have strategic risks at all right, as well. Like for example, if a competitor comes in and cuts their prices, how do you respond to that? Or, how can I protect my intellectual property? I developed this parking place application. The next people down the street develop the same thing. How do I protect myself? Well, one way, perhaps, is to patent your device or provide some sort of a trademark or whatever to protect your intellectual property from strategic risk. So that's another area. Basically, essentially, what you want to do is develop milestones that address all of these risks. And we'll actually talk about this in more detail in one of the, the future videos. But here what you want to remember is the bottom line when you develop your milestones you want the achievement of the milestone to take risk out of your business. Once you've taken risk out of your business its value actually increases. Why? Because 
a risky operation. People discount that value because you don't know if it's really going to happen, right? You don't know whether or not if you're in the horse races and your horse has been lame or injured or whatever, you don't know how that's going to run. So the risk of winning is much higher. But once you realize the horse is healthy and everything is going well and certain milestones are met and that horse runs in the final lap and is being and has been healthy, has a good trainer, all of that, the risk goes down, the chances of, of achieving your objective or the value goes up. Achieving the milestones that you have in your, your list of milestones, they're discrete, they're clear, you've done them, you know that they've taken risk out of your business along these dimensions. And as such, as you check those off, your value of your business actually increases. So let's take a couple of quick examples and think about how these might, what's, what might be a good, what kind of risk is taken out by these examples. For example, you've signed a contract with a call center and they have experience, they're experienced with customer service. They work with smartphone apps and they're familiar with customer service. Once you sign that contract and you know how much it's going to cost and all that, it's quite, quite clear what kind of risk have you taken out of your business. And there'll be a question here on the screen whenever you're uh, ready, you can answer it. Okay, let's look at another one. Here we have customers that they demonstrate their willingness to pay 3 to $5 to download your app. Is that technology risk, market risk, operating risk, legal risk, financial risk, or strategic risk? Again, answer the question in the video. And finally, for this video, you get a patent issued. Does that help your technology risk, your market risk, your operating risk, your financial risk, or your strategic risk? Answer the question. Excellent, excellent. Well, thanks for listening to this discussion. Um, in the next video, we'll continue with our discussion talking about milestones.